Hey everyone, welcome, welcome. My name's Charlie, and today we're gonna be playing some more Apico. Last time we did a lot of beekeeping, a little bit of soda making, and we murdered our grandma, so I'm excited to get back into it today. So the first thing that I wanna get into today is finishing this gate thing, the hive mother gate. If I recall correctly, yes, we need a couple different bees, a vibrant bee and an uncommon bee, which we still haven't even discovered yet. Uh, so we'll have to get on that. Aside from that though, there is one primary overarching goal that I want to accomplish in this little series. Besides saving the bees, of course, that is the most important thing to me, but it is getting a boat and I can sail around and go to new lands and that's all I want in this life. So those are our goals and with those set out, I guess I will just continue to try and get new bee species. So let's go for the uncommon bee first. It says here, hint, an extremely rare offshoot of Apis communia found rarely in the eastern forests. Okay, let's go as east as we possibly can to try and find these bees. I'm not 100% sure how I will be finding these bees. I don't know if it's like in the hives. Like these are just the verge bees, yeah. Hello, any uncommon bees around? These things really are uncommon, oh my gosh. Okay, okay, that plan's not working. What's in this? Oh, an undiscovered bee, I found one. Wait, what are you? Is this, oh, the uncommon bee, I found it. It was just hanging out there. Okay, okay, everybody say hello to your new friends, the uncommon bees. Yay! Let's look at our little thing. Crafting recipes, ooh. Maybe we have the crafting recipe to get the vibrant bee. Oh, we do, okay, a verge bee and a common bee. And that looks like the only way to get them. So maybe we should get that going in uh, a couple of these other apiaries. We also might need some more frames. I think we definitely need more frames. How the heck do we craft those again? Whoa, a pencil. Allows you to rename beehives, machines, and storage. Interesting. Let's make a bunch of frames because we actually need a lot of them. Oh, I left them on the ground. That's unfortunate. Oops, my bad. All right, so toss three frames in there and then take a common bee and a verge bee. Maybe that will make the bee we need. It seems like these uncommon queens actually do things pretty quickly, so maybe we'll be able to rehabilitate that species, honestly. And then a rock bee, go in the rock bee house, oh yeah. Okay, so while those bees are doing their thing, I think we should continue working on our other little quest line, which is the apicola, I think? Ah yes, fizzy wizzy. So the first thing we need to do is craft a fermenter. I don't think we have one of those yet. Oh, before we can do the fermenter, we actually need to get this infused wood planks. Yes, so we need to get an infuser, use the resin to infuse the planks, and then we can get our fermenter. Yahoo! All right, infuser. We need a barrel and five waterproofing. I can do that, maybe. All right, here's the waterproofing and then a barrel. Oh, frick, I need five waterproofing again. Okay, craft, 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 craft. Now we have our infuser. I will put this wood in there. And now we need resin in order to start infusing the items. I'm not sure how to put the resin in there. Maybe if we grab one of our little container things, we can use that. Uh, huh? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, so this resin canister puts the resin in here and then the wood infuses. I see, I see. Oh, in that case, we're gonna have to get a bunch more resin then. We have some infused wood planks now. Exciting. Oh, we can now make the fermenter. Okay, okay. It is apicola time. Let us put this in our tiny little apicola shed. So now what we need to do is get some water and get some honey. And then we put them together and they ferment and we start our apicola empire. <laughs> Getting the water for my apicola. What a good day. Getting water, yay! Okay, I now have four bottles of water. So I will put them one in here. So there's that. Now we need to get our honey to put in there. <gasps> and there's the honey. Okay, I now know where to get the honey. That didn't give me that much honey, but I think it'll be okay. All right, all the honey's in there. Can I put this? <gasps> oh, it's going, it's going. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, 
It's making apicola. This is not a drill. We need to, to get cracking. We need to make more honey. I need to really kick things into high gear. Okay, more honey, more honey. Put it in and more water. Wait, okay, so I'm pretty sure that we can sell that apicola to like Skipper or any of the NPCs in town and then we'll be able to finally get money because if you haven't noticed, we have absolutely zero money. We are super poor. So I have crafted another little canister. We're gonna put it into the apicola and see. <gasps> there it goes. Sells for 50 cents? Are you kidding me? I think a boat's like $300. This is the beginning of the grind, I guess. Still no vibrant bee here. And what about here? Still no vibrant bee. Okay, I'm gonna say something absolutely bonker nuts. I know that our farm is perfect and beautiful and all the bees are happy and I am too. But I think that we need to move these apiaries to like a location where everything is central. Just so I can kind of, I don't know, expedite the honey making process. I'm just not sure like where, I guess we could put it down here. If we clear this area out, we can make another kind of building like this and just put all the apiaries in there. Chippity chip chop 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 cheap chop. Now let's just get some building materials and get this thing started. So I'm thinking something like, like this, something like that. So this is our new little bee area and I think it's very cute. My plan here is we can start making rows of the apiaries. Let me just go grab them. Oh, it's gonna spill all the bees out though and it's gonna be so annoying. Hold on. Oh, oh, guys, guys, guys. Oh my gosh. It's, oh, it's green. It's so cool. Yes, the vibrant bee, the vibrant bee. I'm so happy, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. All I want to do is put the bees into that little gate portal making thingy thing. But if I only have one vibrant bee, I should probably breed it first, right? Okay, I'll do that, I'll do that. I'll have patience. Oh, this is full. What do I do with my, my apicola that I've made? Oh, we need to put it in bottles first. Okay, how do we get a bottle? Buy a bottler from Skipper to bottle it up and sell it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, Skipper, I have a question for- oops, oops, oh, oops, oh! Uh, uh, oh my god, run. Okay, I didn't expect to do that, but now I'm thinking maybe it is more efficient if Skipper is just in a cage on my bee farm. I will take Sir Skip, put you there- oh, 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 okay, perfect. Skipper, I need a bottler? That's just a bottle. Oh, a bottler. A hundred rubies? Does this sell for anything? No. Do these? No. Does this? One. It is a tough world out here. All right, I guess I'll take what I can get. Jeez, um, you deserve that cage. We're getting there though, we're getting there. We need to start selling things to get a bottler though. I definitely have a bunch of stuff here that I could sell. I don't really use like the propolis stuff. So maybe I'll sell some of that. Hello, Skipper. So I have this, $9.90. Yeah, that'll do, I guess. Oh, I have pollen and I have some beeswax, your favorite. Okay. So now we have $73. Oh wait, we're actually so close. We only need 80, I think. Hold up, hold up. I got some more beeswax. I don't have beeswax, I lied. But I, oh, I have pollen and I have these little sticky pearls. So I will, I will use those. Uh, 104, okay. Give me that bottler right now. Okay, so I'll put the bottler there. I'll, the bottles go in. You need at least 50 bleh of liquid to fill a bottle, okay? I th I've got some bleh up here. Oh, 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 I have 400 bleh, okay? Bottled apicola, 15 rubies. Oh my gosh, this is, yes, this is the way. All right, I see now the apicola hype. I'm also steadily breeding up some more of the uncommon bees, so I'll start rehabilitating those ones and releasing them into the wild. I like watching them fly away, it's so cute. Ready? Oh, oh, goodbye. Oh, what a cutie. How are these bees doing? You have produced nothing of value. I just need to get one more vibrant bee and then I can 
open whatever portal that is or what I don't even know what that thing is but boy do I want to complete it oh there's a bottle rack you can display your bottles that's so cool queen cells cause a new queen to be formed automatically from offspring when left in the middle of a beehive or apiary that's actually really good that could kind of lead to some sort of automation stuff oh this one's done dang it dang it dang it oh this one's done too Yes! Yes, yes, yes! We have another vibrant bee. Okay, okay. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. Inside of this apiary, I will put my vibrant bees. This is a big day for us. A big, big day. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have so much honey. And in turn, so much apicola. And in turn, so much money. And with that money, we will get a boat. And with that boat, we will sail to distant lands and find new bees. I am so excited. Oh, I have so much Apicola getting made. I need some more canisters to store that in. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I need more bottles. Is there any way to craft that? Or do you just have to buy them? Because that kind of sucks. Our Vibrant Bee is almost done. So soon we will be able to go open that portal. Ooh, ooh. It's almost done. Six seconds, five seconds. Ooh. A blessed bee! Oh, yes. Okay, we will make these two into the queen. I will take this one. And then, oh, I have to grab an uncommon bee as well. Let's go open the portal. I'm so excited to see what's there. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. What the? What? Oh, wait, it's a fast travel? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we activated this gate, which means we can now fast travel. But how do we get to these ones? What is this forest idol? Can be used to pray to the hive mother for clear skies. What happens what I put here? Only blessed bees can be used as messengers. Okay, okay, there's a lot of layers here. I thought this was a gate to, like, another universe. Turns out it's a way to fast travel, but that also means we need a boat to travel, like, right now. So I think we need to get our Apicola sold and buy a boat. Hey, how'd you get out of there? Get back in there. Get back in there. You- don't make me. You forced my hand. You forced my hand, Skipper. I didn't want to have to do that to you. Stay in your cage. Bad, Skipper. Bad. So let's see, I'm gonna sell all the Apicola that I've made. Let's just grab some more bottles. We can start with like 10. I feel like that's a good amount. That's like $150 too. Okay. What the, who are you? Oh my God. Hello? Merchant. Oh my, mysterious idol? Monticola? What the heck, mysterious frame? What is all this? Can I, can, can I, can I? Oh, I can't even pick him up. I can't pick him up. I was going to pick him up and put him in a chest, but I can't. I am so curious. I really want to get the mysterious frame. Wait, Bobby and the Tundra? There's a Tundra here? There's a lot happening here. I'll just keep an eye on this guy, but I really, really don't want them to run away. Maybe I can do this. Maybe I can't put them in a box, but I can sure do it out here. Okay, so there's that. No! How could they leave me? Is it because I trapped you in a box? Oh. Okay, well that was tragic, but that's okay. Just gotta press on with our Apicola making. At least I have a bunch of filled frames. That does make me a little happier. Okay, we got a good amount of honey from that actually. I am pretty pleased. Advanced apiary? When did this get here? A larger apiary with more slots for frames. Oh, man. Wait, Swarmer. A specialized apiary that sacrifices production to increased offspring produced. Wait, that's actually so good. Wait, I kind of need that. Wait, I kind of need both of these. I think I'm going to do the Swarmer first because I really want to focus on rehabilitating some of the bees that are a little bit lesser in population. I think namely the uncommon ones and definitely the vibrant ones as well. Maybe we could put it in this little corner, like right here. Okay, how does this- Whoa! How does this work? Oh my- Okay, okay. Let's try with the uncommon bee, because we still- We have a good amount of these. We're not completely out of them. Let's try just tossing those in there. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is kind of a big deal. So, the taps kind of suck that you put on the trees, but apparently 
You can also get resin by squeezing logs and acorns. And that sounds amazing, because I have like a bajillion acorns in my little chests over there. So let's see, I need a squeezer. And it looks like I can buy one in town. I wonder if I could craft one as well. I'm not sure. Oh, our thing is done. Whoa. There are so many bees. I can literally go release these right now. Be free, uncommon bees. Oh, there they go. The swarmer is done again. Whoa, there's so many. Okay, let's go release these bees. I just want to bring the species level up. I wonder if I've done anything for the- <gasps> The uncommon bee is vulnerable! Yes! And the rocky bee is thriving now. I think another thing we should do is probably plant some more trees because we have cut down so, so many, so, so many trees. I want to plant a tree for every tree that I've brutally destroyed. Before we finish today, I want to get a boat. And a boat is $200 and I think I'm almost there. I think I might almost have the money to get a boat. Skipper, you're not allowed out of your cage. How many times do I have to tell you? Okay, let's sell our Apicola. <gasps> oh! Oh! We have a boat! Oh my god, we have a boat! Let me just put all my stuff away, and then we will embark on the best voyage of our lives. Okay, let us go on a boat ride. This world is huge! What on earth? There- it seems like there's a gate over here, maybe. That might be the best place to go, but wow, the uncharted territory down here is actually absurd. Let's take this baby for a spin. Oh, ho, ho, yes! I am out on the open ocean. We have to be sure to check all of these because there's probably going to be bee species we've never even... What the frick is that? Hello, mothens? I took the fox. I took the fox. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I'm having the time of my life. I don't see much out here, though. This is just a lot of water. Oh! Whoa! What is this? Oh, it's like a, an ice place! Honeycore stalagmite? How do I take that? I can't. Oh my gosh! Oh, what? A bee? Oh, what are you? Whoa, so pretty! It's a frosty bee! Okay. And then we have another pick. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. <gasps> another new kind of bee! Oh, it's so cool looking. What are you? A fiery bee. So we have a frosty and a fiery. Just like that weird vitamin water promotion that they did for a bit. This is so beautiful. What the heck was that? Ice block. A frozen block of ice. Looks like there's a beehive inside? Okay, I can't get in there. Well, we'll have to remember- who oh, He's back! Hello? I don't have any money. Shoot. What about glue? Do you like glue? Not that much. How about a bed? Whoa! $40 for the bed! Good lord, I'm gonna sell my bed when I get home. Alright, it looks like that's it for this little area. If I'm- yeah, okay. Wow, that was super cool. Oh! Who saved all the bees and is the best? It is Charlie! <gasps> bees? 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 A frosty queen! Queen Elsa, I'll save you! This is actually amazing. <gasps> What's this? I think this is the, the fast travel. I'm pretty sure, right? It is. Okay, so we need a frosty bee, a regal bee, and a twilight bee. And then once we discover all those species, this gate will unlock. And then we can fast travel to the tundra. <gasps> oh my god, civilization! Bobby? I can't wait to steal all of Bobby's items. What you got, Bobby? Okay, I can't like buy- Oh my god. You have $40 lying on the ground right there. Robberum? Sawdust bricks? <gasps> Infused wood? And new kinds of seeds, too. What is this? A forge? Don't mind if I do. Uh, you can- I will give you in exchange this piece of wood that I picked up off the ground. Okay, goodbye, Robbie, Robbie, Bobby. So I'm gonna go home and get all this stuff laid out. We have a lot to work with now. Whoa, we're so far away, holy crap. What on earth is this? What, 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 what? Okay, okay, we'll come back for that. I love this game. Okay, boat in my pocket. 
Um, oh, we're home. So we now have a fox, and I love this fox, and I'm gonna put this fox outside like a little pet because I love it, and I want to look at it and love it. Oh, I can put it next to grandma. Oh, they look so happy together. Okay, I now have a forge. Bobby's forge. We probably shouldn't be using this. Oh, hush, hush, hush. Hold shift. Can I not use it because it's not mine? That makes sense. All right, let's put a frosty queen in. These bees don't like this climate, it's too hot. Oh, I didn't think of that. Oops. What about this? Do the fire bees do things? It seems like it's fine for them. Okay, I didn't really think of that. Uh, oh, they're angry. They're angry. They're angry. Use a smoker to calm them down. I'm scared. I'll leave them in their anger. Oh, and the swarmer's done. Ooh, so many vibrant bees. Here, I will use two. And then I will release the rest. I made the news! For the second time, budding beekeeper Charlie helps restore uncommon bees into the wild. And you know what? That's just another thing to put in our crate out front. Now, the first thing that people will see when they visit us is how accomplished we are. We've been in the Beekonomist twice. All right. Well, I think that was a super successful day. I mean, look at this. We got a pet, a little fox, and we stole Skipper, and we made this whole little apiary area. And we've also gotten a bunch of new bee species. I'm pretty sure we got like three. We have the fiery bee, the frosty bee, we got the vibrant bee, and the uncommon bee. And now they're thriving! We saved yet another bee species from extinction, and I, that, I'm proud of us for that, honestly. Now that we have our boat, I feel like the possibilities are endless. There's so many islands to go to, so many other NPCs and types of bees and plants and stuff to find. I cannot wait. I love this game. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you did, feel free to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!